Good evening, comrade subscribers. So, <clears throat> I've had this fellow for a while. Um, not sure if it boots, I don't know. Well, I can power it on, uh, but I don't have a CGA cable. I've got a serial, or I've got a, I've got a nine pin cable, but if it's serial, then obviously it's gonna have some crossovers or something, isn't it, I think. It's not gonna be straight through. So I'm not sure. Well, so I need so I need to check what sort of uh, cable I need for CGA. Well, that's nine pin, but anyway. So <clears throat> I've had this for a while. I thought oh, it'd be cool to have a original IBM. Then of course it's like so bloody heavy. So um, this is an Aussie one, obviously fifty one sixty. Um, <clears throat> pretty standard on the back. I've got. I did have this cable. I just saw I tried it out. I'm not sure what the pinout is. But um, nothing came up on my little CGA to VGA converter. So <clears throat> I think I will. It's mm, huge. <laughs> so I think I will <clears throat> maybe open it up first and then check out the pinout and uh, see if I need to make up a cable or not. So I can make up, oh, maybe. This has got two male plugs, so worst case, I can always cut it and splice it if I have to in the middle if the pinout's not right. But let's see. Let's um, let's open it up first, I think. Quick proper look on the back again. So that's an Aussie-made one, apparently. I do have the monitor behind me. doesn't work. I think it's a green screen. Um, but it's got a collapsed, collapsed image, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Tempting to get this powder coated again, or maybe not the same colour, but get it a different colour or something, which I know, okay, press dislike now. I haven't done it yet. Dislike the video when I actually do powder coat it a different colour. Uh, but it's just because I don't, I don't really think you can get that kind of, I don't know, that sort of kind of rust out, can you? I don't know. Anyway. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's open it up like I promised. How's that perspective? Maybe I assume I assume it's the oops these ones. Good old flathead like Soviets. <laughs> let's see. Uh, <clears throat> slides back, doesn't it? I think it will. It will, no, it won't, it can't slide back because of the power thing there. Yes, I know, I know, someone will be telling me. Yes, I know. Don't worry, figure it out. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> so on holiday next week for two weeks. Yay. Am I going to get stuff done? <laughs> I hope so. I've got to, there we go. So I'm assuming we just get these these screws undone. Yep, all right, these ones in the corner as well. <clears throat> so yeah, I've got the keyboard. Uh, I think I might have shown the keyboard when I was doing my um, portable PC video. And it's just this one in the corner here, a bit of a dent. So we've got the keyboard, we've got the monitor. Seemed like a good idea at the time, but I still don't have the space really. It is quite awkward. Okay. Ah, of course, maybe it goes forward. Mm hmm. Does it go forward? Is it one unit on the front? Was it lift out? <laughs> oh, dear, this is it. Great idea at the time. All right, let me let me fiddle funge with okay, it. Yeah, it does pull forward. I think the problem was the corner that got a bit dented there. Making it a bit 
difficult. I reckon. Yes, that can all be repowder coated. Metal IBM stick uh, label. Take that off. Repowder coated it all. Why not? So nothing, nothing um, particularly exciting. It's just your standard XT. So we've got two drives. We've got a hard drive. Doesn't say what it is. Well, it's tandem, but it doesn't say. And then an additional. That'd be RAM expansion, won't it? So that'll be. This is your graphics card there. That'll be your CGA card. Now this is a floppy controller with an extra is it 34 pin on the back for an external floppy controller. And this would be serial and parallel and hard drive controller. So yeah, nothing, nothing overly exciting about it. It's just a standard XT. Uh, I thought maybe I'd try and get up and running. Um, ba, 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 ba. So yeah, so the next thing is to see if we can get some video out. So for that, I'll need a cable. I was just having a look, and this is a Persist card. Persist, and I'm assuming it's a, a parallel serial card uh, and RAM expansion. So we've got all our RAM there. Uh, 384K. But yes, uh, I'm thinking <laughs> that I should really get that battery off there. And then give it a clean. So I don't know if it's got a real-time clock on it as well. Um, but yeah, that battery's got to go. So I'll take a photo of it, make sure I've got the um, the uh, strappings in the right place. Take this off, find a replacement, and give it a clean. I'm looking where the card came out, you can see the corrosion's got down into there as well. No copying permitted. Don't copy. Stop copying our boards. So I'll definitely have to give it a good clean to stop that corrosion. Um, but yeah, uh, CGA car, uh, cable next, I think. All right, so the poor thing, I don't think, is very healthy. I can hear the hard drive doing something. then stops. I've disconnected the hard drive. Floppy drives don't even try to boot after that. I'm not getting any output on the screen at all. Assuming my CGA to VGA work, <laughs> converter is working. So I have, re I have reseated the hard drive controller. I could try removing the floppy, floppy controller. Um, yeah, I can't see I can't see any, say, tantalums that have blown, obviously, but I think, yeah, I'm going to have to pull the whole thing apart to um, give it a proper clean and also to identify if there's any issues. So I've got the keyboard connected. So normally if the keyboard's not connected, then it'll complain, you'll get some beeps. But um, like even if I try and do Control-Delete, say, say the video controller wasn't working, you would expect, you know, that to restart the machine. Or even, you know, holding down keys on the keyboard until the keyboard buffer fills up. I'm not getting any beeps or anything like that, so I don't think it's booting at all. I think this is where a postcard would be good, actually. You can buy postcards, can't you? Might be useful. So I've already, so I've already got the... Um, memory expansion and um, serial parallel um, card out. That needs fixing. I'll power off and, and reseat the floppy, well, disconnect the floppy controller. 
and I'll reseat the um, the CGA card as well and try one more try tonight. Tried it with the floppy controller out and the hard drive controller out just to see if you know I get something on the screen and it's yeah the same, not getting anything at all. So uh, she's a bit dead at the moment. So I'm just going to uh, I think strip it all down. Look for any issues on the board. I'll say there's there's definitely corrosion on that slot from that battery. So that probably doesn't help anything. The board looks okay from what I can see. Um, I just need to take some photos. Make sure I get all the cards back on the right way around. Let's have a look. So, like I said, there is there is that corrosion there that I need to sort out from the RAM expansion card, but. I can't see any tantalums that have blown, for example. Um, of course, I assume all the right power is coming out. There's no coprocessor. Um, nothing I can see is obviously wrong. Uh, that's obviously the, uh, the CGA card there. But, um, yeah... So I'll pull it all out, strip it all down, and see if I stumble on something. <laughs> I do. I could, if I wanted to, cannibalise my portable PC, for example, the CGA card, if I wanted. But I don't think it's an issue with the CGA card. The card, you know, I should be hearing some audio, shouldn't I? I should be hearing some beeps and and stuff. So yeah, maybe I should get a. Um, I don't know if there's any. It looks all okay there, doesn't it? Um, and even if I boot it with the keyboard unplugged, you know, normally it complains if the, if the keyboard's missing with a couple of beeps, but didn't do that either. So, yeah, I just thought, quick look tonight. Didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> so I'm um, trying to do some quick videos rather than <laughs> one hour marathon. Just try and do some quick videos to watch. Unfortunately, nothing exciting. Uh, so this is the start of the journey for this one. Okay. Bye for now. Yeah, I'm back. So I'm just going to get get this battery off because I don't like it being on there. Um, very gently. Oops. <laughs> well done, Brett. All right, that's one leg out. It's turning blue. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay, nice right, so a little bit more down on this one. Suck the suck the solder out later. Ugh. Poor thing. <laughs> so I'll give that a good clean. So that's the culprit. So, yep, yeah, I'll give it. Um, I'll give it a good clean. Get rid of all that corrosion. And um, I might suck out the solder while I'm here. And um, yeah, so I saw that this isn't the issue, obviously, because I've taken it out, still not. Oh, here we go, your time spectrum 384. So yeah, I think it does have 384K of RAM expansion, plus a real time clock, plus a serial port, plus a parallel port. Yeah. All right. That's it. And I've got so, so I've got my monitor, um, but it doesn't work either. What a bargain this machine was. <laughs> All right. Bye for now.